Hello, and welcome back to another pen talk. And we'll be looking at another Chinese pen. This one I bought uh, because the designation was very close to one of the best Chinese pens for the money that I've ever seen, the 992. This is the 991. There were six of them in the eBay auction. We'll show you that. They said it had kind of like um, a matte finish and, and that it definitely does have. It definitely comes in colors. And this is the classic packaging. You know, we can see, you know, the manufacturing designations, what I think is a manufacturing date. So I wanted to show this now so I get a record of the number and the manufacturing date in the pen. Don't know what it's worth, but we did it anyways. The uh, six pens in six colors, blue, green, clear, kind of orange, kind of reddish orange, maybe brownish orange, and a charcoal gray. Very similar to the six colors that are in the 992. But to me, this pen is significantly different than the 992. Uh, it's certainly not made to the same level of quality. It doesn't have the same feel. You know, that's a pretty cheesy clip there. Yeah, you know, nothing uh, really of that interest. And it is totally transparent, but it does have a black feed, which the 992 does. It does that comes with a converter. Uh, it looks like this is one piece, the barrel. It's a pull-off cap, which again makes it easy. Again, you see a clear section, but not a clear feed. This is that, to me, the classic Jinhao nib, which has been around for a number of years. Uh, not the newer one that's in the 992, at least from my perspective. But I stand corrected. As I try to extract the nib, the nib and feed, it is screwed in. I had to lose more pressure than I could uh, exert over the camera. Now this is the new one. You have your O-ring here, you have your threads, you have the kind of interesting logo in there. And isn't that fun? It says as the number five there. I guess it is a number five. As you can clearly see how the feed, the little tube on the back of the feed goes into the tube on the section. I'm going to need some grippers, but you know, it, it's how it works. So it is the newer nib, I stand corrected. And of course, this unscrews. You got your uh, Jin Hao converter. Yeah, I got six of them for under twelve dollars, so it was under two bucks a piece. But when I compare these to the nine nine twos, they just don't have the same feel and quality. This is definitely a dollar pen. That's how I would describe it. Nothing wrong with it. We're going to ink one of these up and and do the writing. But I just wanted to give you um, a look at it as received. You know, we'll give you these, uh, show you these colors. I got some sunlight and some LED light, so they should be good to show off the different colors. And it is, you know, I'd like to see this type of uh, matte finish on the 992s. I think that would be an interesting thing to do, and I'd hope these are more closer to that than they are to here. But, you know, maybe they've done some changes uh, to correct. There's no plug now at the end like there was. You could probably eyedropper this, which I will do. So if you wanted to buy one for under two bucks, I guess that wouldn't be bad. I guess you'd call this a brown now that I look at it closely without having it in uh, the same perspective as the other one. And this one's uh, definitely like a pinkish orange. You can see all of them have a, a cap liner in there to hopefully keep the nib from drying out.
Then you have your gray one. I don't know whether these come in solid colors before people ask that in the comments. You know, I could do some checking. So we can go it up and see how it writes and see how it compares to the 992. So here we have the totally clear 992, you know, crystal versus the matte 991. The sections are different. The whole thing is different, but, you know, the nib is the same, but I noticed one difference when I took this apart that I hadn't noticed before. On the back of this is the number four instead of a number five. So obviously not designating nib size because the nibs are the same on these. And the same logo that's uh, in the that nib assembly. But you got an O-ring here on the section which helps seal the cap. You know, you have your cap liner. But it's just a more substantial pen than 992. It feels nicer. This feels like PMMA. This feels like acrylic, but the matte finish may have something to do with the feel. You know, the barrel is a little bit more interesting with the striations in it. You know, it's just overall the detail, and of course you have your cap ring here and just your plain part here. So certainly the 992, I think, is a nicer made pen, you know, a nicer clip, uh, more sturdy. And uh, so that's kind of like my impressions. So we're going to expect this to, to write like a 992, so we'll, we'll do that next. What ink I'm going to use, we're going to use the uh, Robert Oster Lake of Fire. And I'm going to use the converter. I'm not planning on keeping this thing inked up and it's going to be easier to clean out if I use the converter. And since a lot of you have been using converters, you know, since an eyedropper ring, another one of these. So the converter goes all the way down. Insert into ink. Draw up. The first draw is pretty nice. I mean, that's pretty full. It's about as good as you're going to get on a first draw. I haven't flushed this pen at all, which I usually do, but they've been good. So we're going to flush with ink. We're going to go up and down three times. It's a little bit more of a fill, but still pretty good. You can see that ink filling up the section. So I'm going to wipe it off, put the barrel on, and nib the paper. I'm going to do the uh, writing, my first writing of this, uh, with it posted. You know, this way to the pen Posting or not posting doesn't really matter as far as how it feels. You know, to me, when you post it, it uh, kind of you knows where the you know where the cap is. It's not going to roll off. It's not going to disappear on you. And I guess one of the things that you know, as I look at the pen more, the matte finish kind of hides that uh, insert there for the cap liner because that's kind of a, a not a completely transparent liner like the 992. And this has a more simplistic design. So for those that like a, a better cleaner design, this might fit into that category. So this does write as well as a, as a 992. It is the same nib and feed, so you would expect that. Yeah, you put a little pressure on, you get a little bit more ink flow, and it does, you know, open up a little bit. I wouldn't call this a soft nib or anything like that, but it, it does, it is pleasant to write with. I haven't done anything. I think with a little bit of smoothing, this nib would be even more impressive. So is this pen a good buy or not? I think it depends upon your aesthetics and what you like. For under $2, it is a good writer, consistent writer. Uh, it's a much more minimalistic design than the 992, so if that's something that appeals to you, then this might appeal to you, Peel off, uh, pull off cap. Um, again, you could probably use this as an eyedropper. I would definitely silicone grease these threads here because there is no O-ring like there is on the 992. But it does hold up well, and it does look well for those, you know, that like this look. Again, it's not something and you know the, to me the 992 kind of spoiled me and set my expectations on a different level but since you buy pens to write with this one writes okay so uh, thank you for watching 
May you have many great writing experiences. Enjoy the world of pens, inks, and paper. Enjoy your day. Until later, bye.